everybody. Today we're going to do something that is very Quebecois. We are going to learn how to make syrup. Come along. And the season is usually March into early April. And we're going to be harvesting the sap from the trees and uh, boiling it to become delicious maple syrup. As you can see, the buckets are positioned at the low end of the tree with a little spout where the sap comes out and into the bucket. Ta-da! C'est fait. So what happens is during the evening, the sap is sent up the tree to feed the branches. And if it freezes overnight, then the sap will come back down and that's when we can collect it in the buckets. If it does not freeze, the sap stays in the branches to nourish the branches. So we really need a particular kind of temperature for this to work. Here we can see the spout and the sap that has frozen as it has been dripping out. But when the weather gets a little warmer, usually in the afternoon, it accumulates in the bucket and then we come around and empty it out. It's quite cool. Here we can see that the sap is now flowing. It's about 11.30 in the morning, a little bit warmer, about uh, 2 degrees, and uh, the sap is dripping into the bucket. Okay, so here we have the bucket that has collected the sap overnight. It is frozen, and so what we have to do is take the bucket off and we are going to try to dump its contents in the white bucket. So uh, the sap is inside the ice and we will be taking the ice out in a second. So now we have to crack the ice to get the liquid out of it. And there you go. We'll get rid of the ice and what's left in the bucket is the sap that will be cooked and reduced to maple syrup. Ta-da! And here we are at the little shack where we will be reducing the sap into maple syrup. Come on inside. And the sap is flowing into the cooker. sap is boiling and reducing and you can see the humidity rising out of the chimney as the reduction takes place and now we see the reduction which is very yummy it tastes very sweet I can't wait to see the final product